Hi, I want to talk to you about an acronym called CODS, which is uh, there in a lot of architectural discussions with the client, with the customer facing teams, with business teams, with internal teams, with budgeting teams, with procurement teams and so on. So basically what is COTS? So when I go to a lot of uh, different workshops with people, so you know people are aware of uh, various things, but when I say, tell them the word CODS, it sounds like okay we haven't heard what is cots so cots is actually commercial off the shelf software so what it actually means is that you're not going to be building this piece of software you want to buy it off the shelf just like you go and buy an xbox or you go buy something from a fancy store off the shelf you're just going to spend very little time customizing it so it's going to work uh, to your advantage the way you want it and so on so you don't you're not spending much time doing the customization doing the build doing the legacy uh, integration so it's it's pretty much going to work for you off the shelf so that is the reason it's called commercial off the shelf commercial off the shelf means you're going to buy the product you're not going to build the product so in, if in your discussions if you hear people saying okay we we'll let us go for a cots software that what essentially it means is we will not end up doing writing this a piece of uh, logic or software we will end up buying it from the market so that is essentially what is cots software so uh, these days there's a lot of open source movement uh, that's happening uh, so there's a lean stack there is a lamp stack and uh, a lot of other uh, stacks which are pretty much from the open source arena so which is going to cut down the cost you know, like crazy so cots is uh, uh, Still, if you want to don't want to build it, you want to buy it from the market, you use this term cots. And uh, it is said that uh, Facebook uh, or Google and Amazon, if they were to use paid software like Oracle for their databases or MySQL or something, they would go bankrupt many times over. So such is the power of open source. So on the other hand, one hand, you've got open source. On the other hand, you've got cots. So you just need to uh, balance uh, the, these two things uh, as an architect when you're going to do trade-off such as buy versus build and so on so i'm just going to leave you with this uh, thought here do like share and subscribe and comment on this video so that um, i'm going to bring out such videos to help uh, people become better technology leaders and decision makers thank you very much